Hi, I'm Chase thompson Ball with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah-based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. So now I'm going to show you how you can use less bandwidth using Wi-Fi or a 3G plan on your iPad. So when we talk about bandwidth, what we're really saying is how much data your iPad is pulling out from the internet. If you're on a Wi-Fi network, data is really not a problem. You can pull as much as you want and any time you want. But if you're on a 3G network, like with Verizon or AT&T, you have a data limit, like 2 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes, unless you had the unlimited when it was very first offered. But most people will have a limit. And we need to make sure that your iPad stay within limits. You can always check on those limits by going to Settings. You'll see an area here called Cellular Data if you have a 3G iPad and then you can view your usage. Or you can just tap Usage right here, and if you have 3G, it will um, show an area for that as well. Now, here's some things that we can do to improve our usage when we're on 3G. The first thing to do is just make sure that applications that are running in the background, and I just did that with four fingers up. You can also just double tap your home button. Applications that are running in the background need to be shut off if we're not using them. Because applications, even though we're not currently in them, they may still be accessing some background services. And if some of those background services include internet, then they might still be pulling some things down. Now another interesting thing is uh, in different applications that we may get from the App Store, for instance, uh, Pandora. Let me download that really quick. Or just, let me search for that really quick. So Pandora Radio. I love Pandora. I use it on my iPhone all the time. But what's interesting about Pandora from time to time is you may see that there is an ad or two that comes up. Well, those ads actually access the internet and then pull in new ads. So every time an ad has to come through, it's using your data. It's using your bandwidth. So one thing you may want to do is purchase uh, Pandora 1 for $4. What that does is it essentially makes it so that you don't have ads in your application anymore. This is a really good thing for um, those that are very conscious about their data. Another interesting thing is just making sure that you're paying for iPhone or iPad apps. There are several iPhone and iPad apps out there that are free and you can try them out and see if you like them. Like SoundHound, free, but then there's also a paid version. Why would I get the paid version if I like the free version already? And one of the biggest reasons are ads. The free versions are generally ad supported and they're downloading those ads and that uses your data. Make sure you get a paid version so that it's not downloading those ads. Not only will that save you on data, but it will also save your battery because it's not checking the internet as often. Now, one other thing that you can do is actually in the App Store. I'm gonna look for something called Hotspot VPN. And it's actually called Hotspot Shield VPN, excuse me. Hotbot, Hotspot Shield VPN is an iPhone app and that's okay, it'll work just fine on the iPad and we will only use it just for its some services. Hotspot Shield VPN, what it does is it connects your iPad to a VPN server and a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically it takes all the traffic that your iPad would be getting from the internet and sends it through the VPN. What that does is it uh, securely encrypts your traffic. So that's really good if you're on Wi-Fi so that people aren't trying to see what websites you're getting into. It's really good protection against scammers and malware. But also, Hotspot VPN has this great feature that it will help you save on your bandwidth. It will compress data as it comes to your iPad or iPhone and make sure that you're still getting all of the information you wanted, but it takes up less bandwidth. So that's something to consider. Hotspot Shield VPN is free to download, but then there is a monthly or yearly subscription after that. So you can try it out for free for a couple of days. If you like it, then you can sign up. Those are a couple of quick ways of saving some of your data. Again, I'm Chase Thompson-Ball with Simply Mac, and I've shown you how you can use less bandwidth on your iPad.